All right, you guys, I made a video yesterday about uh, the devil's design and what he's been doing to associate negativity with God's design. And uh, Poppy always showed me a couple more things after I uploaded that video. So I thought I'd remake the video and include uh, the things that he showed me. All right, so here we go. All right, Poppy Alway told me that he knew what the devil was going to do for amusement and so created a secret design to both trap him and make him the most offensive being ever and show humanity that he really does exist and corrupts and ruins people for amusement. After designing the languages, Yahweh leaked part of it to fallen people and the devil, and then they started creating their own design that associated evil with Yahweh's design. The following is part of the devil's design. Okay, so we first, this is Yah, part of Yahweh's design. All right, now go on to the old Google Earth and measure from Dome on the Rock, Jerusalem, to the Kaaba in Mecca, and you'll notice it's 666.704 nautical miles. 704 is G0D, like God. Or it's 767.28 miles over ground, which is like a date, 776.728. Now you take that 76.728 and the 666.704, and it's like the dimensions of, a tri of an inverted triangle. And then the base becomes 322.58, which is CBBA, which is Chris BB Canada. So altogether, part of Yahweh's design is 666 God, being meaning exalted high like old ancient prophecies, saying that his, uh, his chosen one would be his favorite person and his friend would be exalted extremely high with the God title. So you get 666 God, 76, 728, Chris B. B. Canada. All right? And as you can see, here's my birth certificate. It's from 76, so it's really old. But it's Chris B. B. 72876, Kelowna, B.C., Canada. All right? So it's really about me, and it's a, it's a real thing. All right? Now here's part of what... what uh, the devil did to associate negativity with design, all right? So he realized that God was actually a 715.4. So you shift that two places and it becomes IQF, which is 9176, which is like IQ6, IQ6, or mindfuck, all right? Now what you do is take my birthday and part of design Add 9176 days, and it becomes 91101, which is the September 11th attacks. Now, if you take the crash, if you sum the crash times of the four planes that crashed, it's 37 hours and 28 minutes, which is C728 or Chris 728, like up the, like the Chris B72876 stuff. Now, 37 hours and 28 minutes is actually 2,248 minutes. Divide that by pi, and it becomes 715.4, which is God. So the crash times actually say Chris 728 God. So basically what he did on 9-11-01 was associated suffering with my identity. All right? Now, remember, I was born in Kelowna, which is pronounced K. Lo na, which is like clown A. All right. Now, Kelowna is in the center of the Okanagan Valley where the, the lake is shaped like the serpent, like the devil, serpent, right? And inside that lake, there's a monster called Ogo Pogo. All right. So you start at the center, Kelowna or clown A, and then either where they go up or down, and it's Pogo or Pogo. So you get Pogo the Clown, eh? All right. Now, the family that I was put with was uh, Ben, Angela, and Diana were the three other kids. The parents were Josie and Wilfred. And then the oddball that's not really part of the family is Gacy. So you get the three kids, Bad, J.W., Gacy, which is Bad, John Wayne Gacy, who was Pogo the Clown, eh? 
All right. Now, if you look at Long Island, where the September 11th attacks happened, it's shaped like a clown shoe. And New York was on the very end, the very tip, which is where all the crushing and the crush and burnt foot shit happened. All right, which is what happened to my foot. My foot was crushed and had extreme burning pains. And that's what then happened to the people in New York. So basically he associated, the devil associated pain and suffering and death and Pogo the Clown, filth and perversion and evil with my my identity or as the God character. All right. And that's basically what the devil likes to do. He likes to associate negativity with everything good. So when you think of something good, it triggers thoughts of their negativity. And then you think about their filth and perversion and right away you're in a bad mood again. So it kills goodness. And that's what the devil's trying to do is kill all goodness by associating negativity with uh, with goodness. All right. And then this is what Papa Yahweh also showed me at the uh, afterwards, after I made that video, he showed me this stuff here which is basically an equation, a couple of equations. This old equation is from like a week ago. But this equation he showed me was uh, was new. And basically you convert this statement to numbers, add in some mathematical operators, and it comes out to an equation and answer, which is J.W. Gacy was Jesus, CBB or Chris BB, 76287666 is IQ God. All right, and so you get John Wayne Gacy was Jesus, and Jesus is the uh, is basically like taken from the Greek name of of Yeshua, but so basically the Hebrew name is actually Yeshua. All right, which is basically do the converting to numbers and add the operators, and you get Yeshua is the beast. He is six one six from thirteen eighteen, which is from Papyrus 115, which is the oldest copy of the New Testament found, says that the actual number of the beast is 616. And the answer to that is Yeshua is the beast. He is 616 from 1318. And that's basically all Papi Papi always uh, showed me so far was uh, this stuff that basically the, the devil's trying to associate the devil Jesus or reincarnated at one point as Pogo the Clown, was just trying to associate as much negativity with uh, the good design as possible. So you can see that the being exists. And like if you look at these these crash times, the odds of that existing are like astronomical. So those were like clan, planned, orchestrated attacks against those, timed out just perfectly to express my, to associate that death and suffering with uh, my identity. But anyway, so so basically like the devil and all of his fallen people are constantly trying to associate negativity with goodness. All right? So that's basically all I wanted to show you. There you go. Oh, wait, I got another idea. All right, Poppy Alway, if that stuff is true, if everything I just showed you there is true, then when I go outside, create a face or a 314 in the clouds. All right. So let's go outside and see if somehow, if that stuff is true, then miraculously may Papa Yahweh create something like a face or a 314 in the clouds. All right, let's give him a minute to do it. All right, let's see. Get this thing focused. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, 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 you piece of crap. Focus. All right, so let's see. We're looking for a face or a 314 or something. Let's see. Well, there's sort of like a face on an angle there, like two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So there's sort of, sort of like a face there. Let's see if there's a, a 314 right there. There's a blurry 3, 1, and sort of like a 4. It's, didn't come out very good, though. But there you go. So what I just showed you was actually real. And, uh, yeah, Jesus was, was uh, Pogo the Clown. And uh, he's the beast, the devil. And he's trying to associate as much negativity with goodness as possible. So, yeah, there you go.